today we're making basil pesto sauce. So we're going to start with putting our three cups of loosely packed basil into our food processor. The smaller the basil leaves, the fresher the basil, the better. You don't want to make the sauce with basil leaves which are bruised or with basil which doesn't smell because if basil smells fresh, it is fresh. So only make it in season. You can even freeze it. It's better to make it in the summer, make a lot of it, freeze it, than to go through and try to make it in the winter when the basil is not really good. So we're going to add to our basil a cup of olive oil and then we're going to add our two garlic cloves that have been chopped and then a quarter cup of pine nuts and we're gonna mix them before we go through and add our cheese. So now we're just going to pulse on and off. And then we're going to let it run for a few seconds. Now we can turn it off and we'll just let our oil come down to the bottom. Pesto sauce is never supposed to be cooked. It really destroys the flavor of the basil and all of those great raw ingredients in there. So keep that in mind. So now we're going to add in both kinds of our cheeses. That was the Parmigiano and this is the Romano. So now we're gonna turn it on again. And that's it, that's our homemade fresh basil pesto sauce. And this is what the finished product looks like. Enjoy.